politicians from Ireland's four provinces and some of the country's best-known faces have been inspecting projects on display at the 2011 Beat to Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition at the RDS in Dublin. I really am very supportive uh, of the teachers, their parents and particularly the students uh, who get involved in this competition year after year and many of them go on to be leaders in science, leaders in technology, leaders in new discoveries and uh, new inventions which are all for the good both of the country and of mankind generally. My name is Mervyn Storey and I'm the Assembly Member for the Northern Ireland Assembly uh, for the constituency of Northampton in Northern Ireland and I'm also Chair of the Assembly's Education Committee and that's a, a very exciting position and role because it uh, brings uh, me to events like this, the BT Young Scientist, and I just have been absolutely enthralled by the innovation, the interest, the enthusiasm that I have seen uh, here today, and I have to say some of the projects are absolutely outstanding, and uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed this opportunity to see what our children are doing in our schools, and I think it's really amazing. The one word I would use for something like this is hope. You know, it's, it's almost Obama country. Uh, it's, it's very exciting, but it's hopeful. Uh, the uh, younger, younger people here, they don't like being called children, are giving us a glimpse of what can be, and in many ways, what will be. And uh, given where we are as a country, we need them. And we need to be able to look at them. And even if they're a little bit of a bulletin in the news, or uh, an item in the newspaper, it's not depressing. It's a good news story, it's a positive news story. It's people who are being innovative, creative, smart, uh, clever, educated, educational. This is great, this is a triumph for the future, I love it. Judges are evaluating projects in the run-up to the winner's announcement this Friday night. My name is Shane Ford and I'm a seventh year in St. Patrick's High School Katy, which is in Armagh. My project involves studying a meteor train, which is just the leftover residue of a meteor that's been superheated. As a child, I've always been interested in space and astronomy, like most children would be. So, and uh, Arma Observatory offered to fund the project for me, so I just went with it. Well, I'm Vince McMullen, and I'm Thomas McMullen, and we're from Loreto College Coleraine, and our project is flipping falling, tumbling cards. We're studying the behaviour of falling cards off this height here. We've noticed that they're falling in four different ways. They're falling straight at the start, uh, they're flipping, they're fluttering and also tumbling and we've recorded these in videos and we've analysed them so we have. But given the chance, what type of project would some of the visiting dignitaries conduct? I'd like to know why people vote the way they do <laughs> because uh, that might be kind of important to me in the next while so I'll be keeping my eyes peeled for any, uh, any of the political sciences that might be on uh, show here today. I love dogs. I think that there is not enough uh, uh, research on the intelligence of, of, of dogs. I think they are marvellous. I had Bernese Mountain dogs and I think that they were wonderful, wonderful uh, intelligent animals. 